What's up, Milkshake Mafia? It's your boy Minnow reporting to Semi Live here on the Minority vs. Predator channel here on the good old 2BU. And today's individual took me quite some time for me to upload for. When we originally started talking, which was back in April, if I'm not mistaken, um, his last name was a part of his profile. However, in the midst of us talking, he changed it to simply his first name. There were a lot of obstacles in my way in order to be able for me to confirm exactly who this person is. So, hands and feet inside the right at all times, we're just gonna hop into this thing. Oh, and side note, it is very imperative that you actually focus on what he says and how he says it, especially when I need to compare the two separate chat logs. So, the individual's name is Scott, he's 32 years old, and this current scout profile says he's in the Pemberton Township area. So, he messages me, how's your day so far? What is your age limit on dating someone? That's when I reply, age don't bother me, but I gotta let you know, I'm actually 15, lol. He says, oh wow, how was your day? Why does your profile say 18? That's when I responded, I had to say I was 18 just to sign up, that's why, lol. Then I said, I'm bored being at home all the time, yeah, same here. I'll leave you alone if you want, I replied. He says, you're fine talking to me. Okay, cool. Why are you home all the time? I said, this dumb virus stuff, duh. I sneak out when I can, depend on the day. He says, why, your parents? Just curious, why do you have only one picture? I said, yeah, my parents do work sometimes. I got other pics, then he asked, do you want a video chat? I'm sorry I always ask that question about pictures because it sometimes throws me off. What do you do when you sneak out? That's when I replied, it's cool, and I just hang out with whoever. He says, oh, I really have no friends, so basically I stay home. I said, okay, yeah, have a couple of friends. He asked if I'm single, I said yes. Probably won't be on here if I had a boyfriend, lol. He says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a single parent. I'm immature sometimes, but mostly I'm mature, he says. What you doing right now? I said, in bed watching TV, he says, same here but also thinking about what to do when I get up. What are you watching? I said, Netflix. He says, I'm watching Futurama. I said, never heard of it. And then he sends me a selfie. Wow, I just figured out how to send a picture, lol. I said, good job on a cookie. Then he sends a picture of what he's watching, which is obviously Futurama at the time. Would you be able to send me a picture, he asks. Then I send him a picture. He says, so beautiful. I said, thank you. He asks, what are you looking for in the guy? I said, I don't know, honestly. He says, is that a bowl in the picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A what? I said. <laughs> just deny, deny, deny. He says, do you smoke pot? Then I just completely ignored it. Then he asked once more, what are you doing later today? I said, online schoolwork. He says, aw. And then he says, to be honest, I'm just a horny guy. I said, nothing wrong with having needs, lol. I'm a virgin. He says, oh really? I didn't think there were teenagers that were still out there. I said, you mean ones that are virgins still? He says, yeah. That's when I replied, I mean, I've done stuff with the guy before. Didn't have sex though. He asks, like what? I said, made out and touching. He just says, oh. So, have you given a hand job? I said, yes. What about a blowjob, he asks. I said, I did, but it was really big, so it wouldn't fit, lol. He says, lol, so you haven't done vaginal, but oral sex. Yeah, so I fucked up and skipped to the uh, screenshots here. So uh, here is Editing Minnow doing some post-production work. So then I said, lol, yeah. I haven't had a blowjob in a while, he says, lol. And then I said, well, I gave one, but my jaw hurt, so it happened for like a couple minutes. He says, what are you wearing, lol, JK? I said, regular pajamas. He says, aw. Then I said, aw, what? Then he just says, I'm horny. I thought girls simply wore tank tops and booty shorts. I said, well, I'm not like most girls, haha. <laughs> Plus, I'm a little cold, so yeah. Then he says, nips poking out, lol. I said, a little bit. So let's uh, move on again. I said a little bit. He says, mmm. I said, mmm, what? He says, the mental picture I'm getting. Where are you from? When you give head, do you spit or swallow? I said, I'm in Manchester, and the only blowjob I gave, he didn't finish since my jaw hurt after a couple of minutes, lol. He says, you're not that far from me. Once again, that portion, very important. I said, where do you live? He says, Browns Mills. I said, oh, I know where that is. I actually talked with a couple guys that live out there from this site. One of them was a guy I did stuff with. He says, who was that? I said, to be honest, I don't I know what's coming up. <laughs> I said, to be honest, I don't remember his name. He had like a billion nicknames. He was like 28, I think. I was 13 at the time. He says, wow, what was one of the nicknames? I'm just curious. I know a lot of people in my town. What would you do if we met and were alone? I said, he went by Hayes. L. New. Men. Twee. Z. Is all I remember. 
<laughs> and I don't know, tell me what you'd like to do alone. And he said, jerk off and have sex with women. Can I see a full body picture? I said, as in you'll have sex with me if we were alone? He says, I don't know about that, but if you were down, yeah. You wanna know what's so good about like the statute of limitations in this case? This decoy will always be 15 years old. I said, oh, okay, figured I'd ask since you brought up sex is all. He says, I like boobs. I said, oh, that's cool. Then he says, can I see a full body picture? Show me boobs, LOL, JK, bunch of laughing emojis. You still there? I said, yeah, I'm just tired now. I don't take nudes and send them. He says, why? I said, I just don't, I'm really shy. He says, you wanna suck my dick and swallow my cum or want it in your ass? Lettuce, mayo, funions and onions? Then send me a full cloak body picture. Then I go ahead, sent him a selfie. Said that was me on Halloween and is that what you want me to do to you? Why you say that? In regards to me asking if that's what he would want me to do to him. I said, good morning. I was just curious is all. He says, aw, how'd you sleep? Pretty good in you? He says, yes, what you doing? I said, school work, you? He says, absolutely nothing besides trying to get some head. I said, sounds like a good time. And he says, eh, not really because nobody hasn't hit me back. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, Scotty. Then he says, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna suffer. I said, aw, I don't want you to suffer. He says, why not? Suffering isn't good, duh. Then he says, but it's not like you can help. I said, oh, because I don't know what I'm doing, right? Then he asks, what you mean? I said, no experience. Not like you'd even ask me to do something like that anyway. This is me giving him a chance to like, kind of back out of this and be like, yeah, you know what, I, you're right. I wouldn't because you're fucking 15. He says, sometimes the people with no experience are the best. To be honest, why would you want to do that to me? I'm curious. I said, it doesn't matter now. He says, yes, it does. I said, why? He says, it's a question. Why would you want to do it to me? I said, I never said I wanted to. I said, it's not like you'd ask me to do it. He says, if I did, then what? Then let me ask you another question. I said, okay. Well, actually too, if I did ask you, where would we go to do it? Would you report me to the cops for it? Nah, I personally wouldn't report you to the cops, but someone else might. Hmm, who knows? I said, uh, why would I report you to the cops? He says, cause you're underage, which at this point he does realize what he's doing can land him in a lot of trouble because the person he's talking to, he believes to be an underage female. No, I wouldn't, that'd be stupid. Why you say that I said, oh, so what? You want me to report you to the police or something? He says, no, I'm just curious. So if I asked you then, where would we do it at? Then I said, I mean, this is a hypothetical situation though. So it's not like I could answer that because you wouldn't do it anyway. Then he says, you never know. I replied, I mean, what you trying to do? He says, to see your boobs. It's all about blowjobs and boobs for you, huh? He says, LOL. I said, okay. He says, not like you would, dot, dot. I said, it's not like you would want me to. And then he goes, show me your boobs. Yeah, I said, why? He says, I wanna see them. What you gonna do with the pic? He says, look at it. Well, I'm not gonna send it over this app. He says, why not? Because I said so. Chicken, LOL, JK. Then I said, I'd rather text you to get to know you better. He said, what do you wanna know? Like, as in, what's your phone number? Duh, this app is glitchy for me. He says, hmm. I said, forget it, sorry. Oh, blow me, LOL, he says. I said, okay. And then he says, when? I said, text me and I gave him my number. He says, hmm, are you saying okay to blow me? I said, if you want. He says, okay, do you video chat? I said, yeah, can we video chat, he asks. Then a bunch of thinking emojis. I said, I'm kind of with my parents right now, dude. He says, hmm, I said, what? Nothing, just headed home from work. Okay, what are you doing? Just laying down, what do you do for work? I'm a security officer. That is also very important. And then some time goes by, entertain me, he says. I said, how? He says, I don't know, send me some pics. What you doing later today? I said, nah, I'm good. Then he sends crying emojis. You won't even give me a phone number, but you want me to send pics and give you a blowjob? You'll get over it, bye. He says, wow. I said, that sketches me out, so it's best I don't even bother you anymore. Trying to just take the aggressive way out of this, uh, just to see how he would react. Um, and then he says, how does that sketch you out? You don't even video chat, which sketches me out. I said, I told you I do video chat when you asked me. It was at this point where I was gonna pull the plug and do the video chat just so I could hope I could get his face on that camera and take it from there, but didn't come to fruition. He says, but we have it. How do I know that you would really blow me? I said, you have got to be the dumbest fuck I've ever spoken with. I've said yes to you, agreed with you, yet you fail to understand that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he says, well, excuse me. Most of the time I talk to him, I'm tired. I forgot what I asked you, so I'm sorry, damn. Then he asks, when are you sneaking out again? I said, why? He says, I'm curious. I don't know when, I don't plan it in advance. He says, sometimes it's best to always plan. I said, well, I only hang out with people that I could trust. He says, you could trust me. I said, no, I can't. He says, why is that? I said, why should I? You only talk to me at night and I barely got to know you. He says, I'm off all day tomorrow and you can hit me up too. I said, how? I told you this app is glitchy for me. Okay, give me a few minutes. I said, for what? Then he texts me a phone number, which is uncensored because I immediately knew for a fact that this definitely wasn't a real phone number. No one just says, give me a few minutes before giving 
giving someone their phone number. Like, if you're going to text, fucking send it. But I knew he had to download a text-free app, get this number, and then send it to me, which is why it took him 12 fucking minutes to give me a phone number. I said, hey, it's Mia. He says, hey. Then I sent him a selfie in hopes that he would send me a selfie back. I said, hey, thanks for texting me. Send me a selfie for a contact photo. Are you in the bathroom? Why don't you send me some sexy pictures since you wouldn't send them on Scout? I said, I'm not comfortable with you like that. That's why. Then he sends, uh, then he sends a sad face, but you comfortable enough to blow me? That makes no sense. Boobs and booty, LOL. I said, I'm comfortable enough to do it, but I'm not comfortable enough to pretty much get into your car is what I'm saying. Then he just says, I said bye. So we stopped talking on April 9th and all I had was his first and last name. But there was no way for me to prove the fact that I was actually talking to this person, especially once I saw his Facebook profile. Here's the dilemma that I ran into. So I got on the Facebook profile, however, there are no actual pictures of him. All I have to go off of is his bio, which says I'm a security officer, a single father of three kids and a hardworking man. And the only pictures of humans on this profile are of three children, two boys and a girl. However, there was absolutely no way that I could possibly prove that this was him. So I had no real game plan. I wasn't gonna go meet him anyway because that's when this whole pandemic thing started and I wasn't necessarily comfortable with leaving my house at the time unnecessarily, especially to do something as dangerous as meeting one of these guys. So fast forward to May 17th and I'm having a Facebook conversation with someone where I told them I have a text-free number. However, there's no way for me to get positive confirmation on this person. And then I sent them a screenshot on May 17th of this very Facebook profile. But once again, I was at a dead end. However, one week later, out of nowhere, May 25th, 2020, Scott messages my other decoy profile. Hey, how's your night? Now, here's where I sort of said, screw the rules, play the game. All I needed to do was to make sure that this was the person that I was definitely talking to before by extracting the information that I needed to line up with the Facebook profile. So instead of talking to them as a minor, I just talked to them as a regular adult woman. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Rest in peace, Ada Guerrero. So as I've mentioned before about certain things in the conversations for you to remember, um, you know, we did some talking here and he simply asked, do you have any more pictures besides just this one? So he sort of just asked the same question again. So we took some time in getting to know each other and that's when I asked him, what do you do for work? I'm a security guard. Everything's matching up and lining up for me right now. Things are going good, but we gotta keep on going. So then I asked him, where do you live? He says, Browns Mills. I said, cool. I'm in Manchester, I see you have children. How many do you have? He says, you're not that far from me. Are you having deja vu yet? And yes, I do have children. I have three, but only one that lives with me. Three children in the cover photo, okay. How many boys and girls do you have? He says, my two oldest are boys. My youngest is a girl. So we do just a little bit more small talking um, and he actually just gives me his phone number without me asking. Here is a portion of his phone number, which I am pretty sure is definitely real, being that he was so willing just to give it to me. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to <laughs> our text conversation. He says, hey, and then sends me a selfie right off the bat. So I said, hey, so it just dawned on me. You sure we ain't met before, lettuce, mayo, and onions? You and Browns Mills, right? He says, I don't think we have, and yeah. I said, nah, dude, we definitely did. How do you not remember me? I'm sort of just hiding in plain sight at this point. He says, I knew we spoke before. I said, Scott Dione, uh, or, or, or Dion, or Dion. Yeah, when? So he was able to confirm every single point that I needed to confirm. With that being said, Mr. Dione, Dion, you should really think twice about asking a 15-year-old girl for a blowjob and explicit photos, because you never know who could be on the other end. And I flow like water. These guys are evolving. Well, you know what? So do I. I do what I gotta do. If the job don't get done right, then it just gets done. So, with that being said, Mafia, remember, keep the peace, no harassments, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. <laughs> Especially you, Browns Mills. <laughs> I promise.